Ooh, that was just uh, painful. <laughs> I, I, caption that when memes come true. <laughs> <clears throat> you know, I have to hand it to the kids, though, the students who are standing there, sitting there listening to, because the kids, you know, they're so candid if they're allowed to speak their thoughts. You know what they're thinking. They're looking at her thinking, why are you so awkward? <laughs> because that's probably the most awkward <clears throat> presentation that uh, I've ever seen. I believe those were child actors. We have some reporting <laughs> on that. I'm not kidding, Governor. No. I believe they may oh. have been child actors, not even real kids, but it is clear I mean, that she's... Th this, gets, this gets better and better as <laughs> yeah. the hours go by. I mean, she needs help. She's not done a great job with her border assignment. Clearly, she pretty much got out of Dodge after Afghanistan. So she's looking for stuff to do. Can't find anything good to tackle here on this green earth. So, you know, she's got to go to a, a galaxy far, far away. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you know, those clips really are painful to watch. And this is a, a tough interview to do because I have some people in the studio who are laughing so hard that they're <laughs> kind of getting me off track right now because they saw the clip. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, the, the awkward videos that were presented, but at least the media didn't, uh, you know, hide that one. You guys at least uh, found it and ran it. But same with President Biden's videos, watching him try to speak and read the teleprompter. I get cold sweat. I, it's difficult for me to watch. I think in his case, it's elder abuse where they trot him on out there and expect him to be um, articulate about anything. It's, um, it's tough to watch. Well, he's delegating everything. First, he sends Kamala down to Central America. That didn't work. And now he's sending his AG, his DHS secretary, his secretary of state. He's sending all of his cabinet down to Mexico to figure that out because Kamala is basically like, you know, washed her hands of it. I don't know what's going to happen. It's only going to get worse. But it's interesting that today Hillary popped out of the woodwork to remind us that, you know what, she's still here. Watch. Any interest at all in getting back into the game of politics? I will never be out of the game of politics. I'm not going to be running for anything. But I really feel, Amy, and I know uh, George was interviewing Adam Schiff mm -hmm. before, I really feel like our democracy is at stake. And there's many reasons for that. I, I really am worried about what's happening at home and around the world. So I'm never going to get out of, uh, you know, being uh, involved, worried, and hopefully trying to help in some way. She's never going to get out of politics. That sounds like a threat. <laughs> Well, this just seems to be a day where uh, lots of the old has-beens are being trotted out to give some comments. That's kind of ironic today. <laughs> um, you know what? Let, let me address, though, the yeah. good point you were making about Kamala, 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 uh, being sent to the border but not doing a doggone thing. I think, I don't know, she didn't show up in the right place anyway. But then uh, the President Biden now sending the rest of the team down to the border trying to figure it out. What's to figure out, Jesse? Exactly. What is to figure out? Trump had the answer. Any reasonable, common sense, constitutional conservative has the answer. And that's <clears throat> you build the wall, you pay attention to what's going on at the border, and um, you go from there. What, what is so difficult about that? What am I missing? It's not difficult, and uh, he's making it difficult, and, and that's the problem. And I think the fact that Hillary's popping up and saying, hey, America, I'm still here, signals that a lot of folks inside the Democrat Party know that Joe's going to be a one-termer. They know Kamala's plotting to be the nominee. No one thinks Kamala can, can win again in 2024. So Hillary's like saying, hey, you know, I'm still here. Don't forget about me. I got more votes in the popular vote than Donald Trump. Uh, hey, hey, guys. Uh, wouldn't surprise me. You know, I wouldn't bet against that at all that uh, Hillary jumps back in there. And uh, remember what happened to Kamala during the primary. She didn't go anywhere. Yeah. You know, that even the Democrats within her own party, they weren't going to nominate her. They weren't elevating her into any um, any kind of position. And, uh, you know, I think she checked a lot of boxes for the need there on the ticket, and that's why she is there today. She sure did, and I think she should focus on solving problems here on Earth before she starts focusing on outer space. Thank you so much, Governor Palin. Always <laughs> enjoy having you on. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.